Look at that. What? <laughs> Holy smokes, man. The casual spaceflight observer might have forgotten about Boeing's entry into the commercial crew program. They have been quiet for a while, but Boeing has finally announced the launch date for the second try of the Starliner OFT-2 mission. Will fortune smile upon Boeing this time? And why are so many worried about the Boeing Starliner? Can SpaceX and Elon Musk help Boeing? All this and more in today's episode of Great SpaceX. Boeing announced on April 14th that it had selected May 19th at 6.45 p.m. Eastern Daylight Savings Time as the launch date and time of Starliner's Orbital Flight Test 2. This mission will send an uncrewed Starliner spacecraft to the International Space Station, this being the final real-world test for the spacecraft before the crew ride on it for the first time. As the mission name implies, OFT-2 is the second attempt for Boeing's Starliner at this mission. Human spaceflight. In December of 2019, the first OFT launch successfully made it to space, but failed to reach the correct orbit due to a software problem on the spacecraft. However, the spacecraft was safely deorbited and recovered at White Sands Missile Range. Last July, Boeing attempted to launch OFT-2, but corrosion found in a valve scrubbed the launch attempt and started months of investigation into what caused it and how to fix it. Eventually, the OFT-2 Starliner received a new service module and was slated ready to launch, but it just needed free time at the ISS. Between crew rotations to the ISS, Axiom-1, and resupply missions, free time is a premium on the station at the moment. Hence, Starliner's OFT-2 launch date is only now being announced for May, not excluding the possibility of any later schedule shift. One day, though, Starliner finally will launch on the Atlas V rocket from ULA's SLC-41 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. Even so, there is still much to worry about. And why is that? Well, because in the future, the Starliner will fly on the SLS, another project in which Boeing participated as one of the main contractors. And as you know, SLS is juggling with a bunch of problems and delays this year alone. Although Artemis launch director Charlie Blackwell Thompson said Monday that there is not a significant amount of work needed for repairs, Artemis 1 will likely miss its mid-June launch date as a result. The next launch period opportunity provided by the configuration of the Moon and the Earth begins June 29th and runs through July 12th. If Artemis 1 is delayed further than that, the next opportunity is from July 26th through August 9th. Notably, a delay in the launch of Artemis 1 will have a domino effect on Artemis's 2 and 3, both slated for 2024. This is like one big joke, only instead of laughs, we're just hearing delays, over delays, over delays. And I promise you, if the US government continues to rely on NASA and Boeing, then the day that we set our feet back on the moon will never come. Perhaps they should put their faith in someone more experienced and reliable in terms of making the most efficient and cost-effective rocket in the industry. You and I both know who we're talking about. But why must we drag SpaceX into the US government's problems? Honestly, it's quite simple, but first, let's turn back time to the beginning to have a better understanding of how we've gotten to where we are today. In 2014, NASA's commercial crew program selected SpaceX and Boeing to ferry astronauts to the ISS, while SpaceX was awarded a $2.5 billion contract to develop the Dragon, NASA placed more faith in Boeing as they awarded them with $4.3 billion to develop the Starliner, almost double the sum given to SpaceX. As such, it was clear that Boeing had an advantage over SpaceX from the get-go. But after all that, did Boeing have anything to show for it? Well, you already know the answer to that. Meanwhile, SpaceX, the underdog, became the pioneer of the space industry, becoming a pillar for the US and NASA on the ISS, as well as other areas of space, including orbit, satellites, the moon, Mars, and beyond. Even now, SpaceX is developing at a breakneck pace. Need proof? Just take a look at what's happening at Starbase, as well as in Florida. Another example is the number of Starship prototypes that SpaceX has iterated. 
We've already seen parts of S-25 and B-9 at Starbase, and Raptor 2 deliveries continue to arrive on site. The installation of Raptor 2 on B-7 is also underway at High Bay. But now that B-7 has been rolled back to the production site, there are many that speculate B-7 will be put out of commission and SpaceX will move on to B-8 while some say that they are going to fix B-7 and attach the Raptors to it and do all the testing and stuff, but we highly doubt that. Musk put all his heart and soul into building Starship, his ticket to Mars, and the hope of humanity. If this ship achieves its design goals, it'll be able to replace everything the Falcon 9, Heavy, and Dragon can do in terms of ability. And as you know, Boeing is a procrastinative innovator at least in the space sector, which is bringing its space projects to the brink of doom. This company and Northrop Grumman have a decade of SLS delays to get to a first launch, and they just ask for another $2 billion per year for decades from the US government and NASA. According to Brian Wang, a co-founder of a startup and fundraiser for high-potential early-stage companies, if SLS slips into 2023 and Starliner does not get considered safe enough to transport astronauts, then Boeing could be the prime contractor for over $30 billion of failing space programs. If it happens, we're not sure whether they'll be able to revive the company. More notably, China has passed its century of humiliation. The world's most populous country is showing that it is a space power that shouldn't be underestimated, with a series of remarkable successes in recent years. And that's mainly because they are always willing to, quote unquote, learn new technologies from other countries. Therefore, they tend to have rather huge leaps and frequent bounds. And if Boeing is still treading water, it will be kicked out of this money-burning industry. And if it does end up going that route, then America's hope for two certified commercial spacecrafts will be a failed dream as well. That's all the information we have for you today. If you enjoy what my team and I are doing and would like to continue supporting us in a huge way, you can become a patron through our Patreon link in the description below. And don't forget to share your ideas in the comments as well, because everyone's support motivates us to continue creating more quality content. And if you enjoy today's content, please give us a thumbs up. Otherwise, as always, this is Kevin with Great SpaceX, and my team and I will see you next time. I, I actually just don't care about hope or enthusiasm, motivation. I just give, every, give it everything I've got. Um, let me put it this way. If you need inspiring words, don't do it. <laughs>